Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. <clears throat> Let God be magnified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Someone is so jealous of your spotlight. Someone is so jealous of your spotlight. I want to encourage you, when God, if God has put you in a spotlight, always pray for the grace to maintain the position that God has given to you. Because, you know, some people are mad now. Because you are gaining ground. When I mean gaining ground, God is giving you territory. God is giving you territory. That place where you live, God is giving you the land. God is giving you the land. The land belongs to God. The land belongs to your father. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of Joshua, it says, wherever you step your foot upon, it said you will possess it. Wherever, wherever you step your foot upon, it said you will possess. In other words, Wherever you came out from, wherever the Lord take you to, from your nation to another nation to another nation, you will gain ground. When you get ground, it means that you will be favored. You will be favored by men. You will be favored by God. This is the counsel of God unto somebody. Where people thought that you will not be favored, you are being favored because in that land, God is favoring you. Hallelujah. God is favoring you. <clears throat> the reason why they are jealous of your spotlight, they never really wanted you to enjoy the favor of God. They never really wanted you to enjoy the blessings of God. People want you to be in a circle where they can control you. But because God has put you in a, in, in a spotlight, in that place where you are, you command territory. You command nation. So there is no one that can boss you around. That can boss you around. Hallelujah. You need to understand that people are always jealous and mad. When they can no longer use you. You see people being angry. The moment you find your calling. Those that used to be at your corner, they are no longer in your corner. Why? Because you have found your purpose in life. You have found your calling. When you begin to walk in your God-given purpose, when you begin to walk in your divine giving God purpose, you will see madness in different form. Because when you don't have purpose in life, people love to control. Child of God, through the help of the Holy Spirit, you are finding your purpose in life. You are finding your purpose in life. Hallelujah. This is why they are mad because they cannot use you. When the favor of God is upon you, there is no one that can use you. When you walk into office, you will get what you are looking for. When you get into that place of job, this is what God is saying to someone. When you get into that place, you will get what you are looking for. When you get into a strange offices that you have not visited before, somebody is already there to attend to you. That is how God is giving you territory. The Bible said that king shall come to your rising. That king shall come to your rising. Hallelujah. King shall come to your rising. So whenever, wherever you find yourself, God will touch the hearts of men that are there to, for everything to work out for your favor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you finally decide, you know, when you finally decide to be that person that God wants you to do, be, you will see there are many people that will get mad about it. Your spotlight has become a center of discussion. How did you get there? One thing that I know, it does not matter how you get there. As long as God is on your side, you will get there. You know, you will get there. And you don't have to explain to people, this is how I get there. This is how I get there. This is how I did not get there. Unless God have you to share it. 
that is when you will share it so that to encourage others that want to get there as well. Child of God, hear the counsel of God. God is saying to you that they are jealous of your spotlight. Why? Because they cannot boss you around anymore. You are becoming your own boss. You can make the right decision for yourself. You are not a pushover anymore. You are not a pushover anymore. You know when to say yes and when to say no. That same you that used to say yes because you did not have your own say. That used to say yes to everything. Cannot boldly say no. Cannot boldly say no. Cannot boldly say no. I will not say yes to this. This is a no. Can you see what God is doing in your life? God is bestowing upon you confidence. Because through that confidence, you can maintain your spotlight. Hallelujah. There are many people that, 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 that gain spotlight. They disappear because they could not resist the, 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 the hatred that was thrown at their spotlight. Hallelujah. <clears throat> but when you have the confidence of God, there is nothing that is thrown at your spotlight that will make you to give up the spotlight that God has given to you, that God has placed in your hands, that God has already endowed you with. Hallelujah. You are a blessed one. Glory to Jesus. I'm just speaking. I hear the Lord said you are, you are a blessed somebody. You are a blessed somebody. You are a blessed somebody. Though you are a kind person, you are not, a, you are not weak. Though people mistake your kindness for weakness, you are not weak. You are a blessed somebody. Hallelujah. People are mad because they can't use you anymore. You are the one that they love to use before. But the Lord has removed you from that place where you were being used. And the Lord has bestowed upon you blessings upon blessings. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to our Father. God is not a man. For anyone that asks the Lord, you know, anyone that asks the Lord for blessing, he will give. Anyone that asks the Lord for favor, he will give. Anyone that asks the Lord for open door, he will open the door. The Bible says in the book of Matthew 7, 7, it says, Ask and ye shall receive. When you ask the Lord for spotlight, there are people who want spotlight in their business, in their ministry, in their family. One thing that I know, when you are able to ask God, God is able to give it to you. The Bible says he's able to do exceedingly abundantly above what we even ask for. Everything that we ask for, God is able to give us more than we ask for. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Some people get mad when they cannot use you anymore. Child of God, I need you to understand that the Lord has placed you in the spot, spotlight. No amount of hate and jealousy that can remove you from that spotlight. That is where God wants to shine his glory. God puts you in that spotlight in order to shine his glory. Hallelujah. In order to shine his glory, we are living in a wicked world where the enemy don't want the people of God to shine. They, want, they don't want us to be visible. But God is making us visible. Hallelujah. Because upon you, he is building the church and the gate of hell cannot prevail. You are prevailing over the gates of hell in that nation, in that territory where you are. I am praying for you, child of God, that your spotlight will not be taken away. Your spotlight will not be taken away. Receive the grace to maintain the spotlight. Receive the confidence to, re to maintain the spotlight that your Father in heaven might be glorified. That, your, that God in heaven, our God, my God, our deliverer will be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.